I never get tired of Satchel. Let's see if we can do another one. Hello, is this George from Diamond Yard Sports Cards? Hey, it's Scott at Ranger Studios. How are you, sir? Great. Hey, how do I sound? Yeah, I'm calling you from my vinyl cars phone. Nice. Yeah, I thought it would sound good. The cars always sound good. Anyway, I got a worthless satchel page card I want to sell you. Yeah, it's a uh, upper deck national pastime something or other. I'm looking to get an undisclosed exorbitant amount of money for it. Yeah, I'm a lousy salesman, I know. How about the uh, worthless card and a super awesome 3D painting of old Satch? Really? Sweet, George. All right, you got a deal, sir. Let the good times roll. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my holy grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my grail card a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. This piece requires a little bit of explanation, I guess, because it's not a marker doodle or a charcoal drawing, and uh, George gave me free reign to get nuts, so I'm making paths to cut out pieces on my laser that I don't get to use enough. Uh, lasers are cool. I did a Bob Feller piece like this for my son a couple of years ago, and I loved it, and I've really been wanting to do more of them. Um, here are all the pieces. It looks like it's gonna work, so it's time to paint. I'm working from the bottom layer to the top, painting and gluing as I go. Uh, George came up with the idea to make a 1941 play ball card, which is awesome because Satchel did not have a 1941 play ball card, and those cards are just gorgeous. And I really wanted to give it a little 3D kind of treatment, and I only hope I can do this justice. Uh, wish me luck. Here I am painting in the background. The uh, play ball cards had a lot of flat pastel colors, so I'm trying to match those and mimic that look. I'm using a combination of wood glue and faster drying super glue. The uh, wood glue is stronger, but it takes longer to dry, and the super glue kind of holds it in place while it does. I'm talking about glue. Is that interesting at all? Um, as far as the painting goes, it is a little difficult to know if these colors are right because the layers on top might make them look off a little bit, but fortunately paint is pretty easy to adjust as I go and I'm going to do a lot of adjusting. That hand looks pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. It's kind of hard telling what kind of pitch Satch is throwing here because he had so many weird ones, but it looks like some sort of screwball, maybe. This uniform is what's going to make or break this piece, but once I get that right, the rest should be cake. I like cake. Let's give props to George for a second. His channel, Diamond Yard Sports Cards, is fantastic. He's got great taste in cards and he's super knowledgeable and passionate about what he collects. Uh, what's kind of cool is that George loves Satchel and George knows that I love Satchel, so he really wanted me to do something that I was excited about and that I could really sink my teeth into. And I appreciate that he did that. Not that everyone who requests a commission needs to do that or even should do that, but he could have easily gone with Jackie or somebody else, but he wanted me to have much fun as I could with it. Looking pretty sharp, if I do say so myself. Let's tell a bad joke. And this is a really random one that has nothing to do with anything, but uh, what do you get when you pick a pig's nose? Hamburgers. I know, that's not funny. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Dang, 
dang, look at that. Sometimes these pieces are hard to give up, and this one is really hard to give up. But George is a great guy, and I have no regrets. I'm more than happy that he gets to enjoy this one. And the really cool part is that I get to give it to him in person at the National. I can't tell you how excited I am about this one. So let's see if he likes it. Here with George. Hi, George. We're at the National. And we're having fun. Do I wear an awesome t-shirt? It's a great shirt. You remember when we had a fake phone conversation? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was. Uh, you offered to pay me exorbitant amounts of money for mm -hmm. a worthless card. Yeah. A right. worthless, a fictional card? No, it's a real card. Oh. So there's your worthless card. Oh wow. National pastime. Satchel page. Awesome. So. And then I had to throw in something that. Oh, a little uh, extra something. Little sweeten the deal. Extra something to sweeten the deal. This is gonna be. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited about this. Man. Thank you for taking the time to do this. It was my pleasure. It was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, Scott. Oh wow. Oh, we've seen it. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is so awesome. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I can't thank you enough. This is awesome. I contacted Scott uh, about doing something for me, and we had talked back and forth, sent some pictures to him, uh, and and like, and then he told me he was doing a, a woodcut, and this is amazing. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. I can't believe this. It's kind of from every angle. 19, 1941. The card that never was, or that now, the card that finally is because it's Scott Reindeer Studios. The 1941 Play Ball Satchel Page. This is Diamond Yard Sports Cards and Scott Reindeer Studios. Success. I really enjoyed this one, if you couldn't tell. And George couldn't have been a better client. It was so awesome getting to give it to him in person. Thanks, George, for the great idea and for letting me do my thing. Thanks, Don, for being my cameraman there. And thanks, all of you, for watching. We are within striking distance of Psy. Just a few more commissions to go, and I'll be able to open commissions back up. I know a lot of you are waiting patiently, and I really appreciate all of your support. So until next time, Reindeer out. I am still trying to figure out a new sign-off, and that is not it. Uh, so we'll see you next time.